Internal Revenue Service IRS tax news. Treasury and IRS provide guidance on energy projects for low-income communities. Guidance on energy projects for low-income com- what? Why do I get the feeling this guidance will have more to do with lowering carbon than lowering costs? Is, is this thing coming from that deceptively named Inflation Reduction Act again? I mean, honestly... Those slimy politicians and their misuse of language, I'm telling you. Like, honestly, reading the IRS news these days makes me feel like I'm Batman. Trying to decipher like a riddle from the Riddler. That missile, look, it's written something. Riddle, in the form of a joke. Let's race back to headquarters, Robin. You know what this means, don't you? Hmm, the Inflation Reduction Act. Whatever could they mean by that riddle? Our blackest fears confirmed. Penguin, Joker, Riddler, those three super criminals, their forces combined. For heaven only knows what infamous objective. It may be worse than that, gentlemen. Worse? <laughs> what saints are alive? How can that be? Look at this pair of joking riddles. What does a turkey do when he flies upside down? Holy worthless dollar, Batman. I've got it. The inflation part of the Inflation Reduction Act is actually canceled out by the reduction part of the Inflation Reduction Act. Like a balloon being filled up and then it's reduced back down so it cancels each other out. He gobbles up. Of course. And number two. One weighs six ounces, sits in a tree, and is very dangerous. A sparrow with a machine gun. Yes, of course. Which leaves us with just the act part of the Inflation Reduction Act. Now, combine both answers. What kind of creature would gobble up a bird in a tree? Heaven protect us! A cat! A cat. Yes, gentlemen. But that leads to the question... How will the government then act? The criminal catalyst in this entire affair, our old arch enemy, Catwoman. Answer, the same way they always do, of course. Like ridiculous fools spending unseemly amounts of money. Penguin, Joker, Riddler, and Catwoman too. The sum of the angles of that rectangle is too monstrous to contemplate. So, the Inflation Reduction Act actually means the government's going to spend money like Hunter Biden at a crack convention held in a hostile foreign dictator's brothel. We've been given the plainest warning. They're working together to take over... To take over what, Batman? Gotham City? Any two of them might try that. The whole... By the way, let, let's see if we can make some sense out of those Chinese spy UFO things we've been shooting down lately. Why is why is the American military shooting something out of the sky over Canada? Because it's part of a NORAD. There is a, the NORAD is part of like a it, part of a it, it's a it's a what you call a coalition, a consortium, a consortium. A, a pact and so, of nations. A pact, okay. exactly. And so that's why we were able to do that. Again, it, we didn't do it on our own. We did right. it in in uh, in uh, it clearly in in in, in, in step with uh, right. Canada. <laughs> Holy space balloons, Batman! That was a complicated set of clues. I don't think we'll be able to crack this riddle. If it were three of them, I would say yes. But four, their minimum objective must be the entire world. IR 2023-26, February 13th, 2023, Washington. The Department of the Treasury and the Internal Revenue Service today provided guidance to establish a program to provide solar and wind power to certain low-income areas under the Inflation Reduction Act. I knew it. What is... How does inflation reduced... is supposed to go down because of the thing in the act but it doesn't, so why call Act 8? I don't know. Notice uh, 2023-17, there's a link to that here, establishes the Low Income Communities Bonus Credit Program and provides initial guidance for potential applicants 
for allocations of calendar year 2023 capacity limitation. This initial guidance provides the general eligibility requirements, a description of the four statutory facility uh, categories for which an eligible facility may request an allocation, amounts of capacity limitation reserved for each facility category, a general description of the program design and goals, the application review process, and the proposed timeline for operating two 60-day application periods in 2023 based on project categories. And if you don't have all that kind of stuff lined up, just go talk to Hunter Biden. Make sure that the big guy's getting 10% and you'll probably be good to go. So this guidance applies to owners of certain solar and wind facilities placed in service in connection with low-income communities that are eligible for the Section 48 Energy Investment Credit. The Treasury Department and the IRS will issue additional program guidance outlining the specific application procedures, applicable definitions, and other information necessary to submit an application. More information may be found on the Inflation Reduction Act 2022 page on irs.gov. There's a link to that here. There'll be a link to this in the description.